Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Hollywood Studios. It is a weekday, I think it's Tuesday, and the park closes at seven o'clock, so I waited to come until four o'clock just to see if the wait times and just the crowds have basically disappeared later in the afternoon. So, let's go do this. And obviously, since it's 4 o'clock, there are no boarding groups to get for Rise of the Resistance. So we're just going to kind of just wing it and see what we got going on elsewhere. It is also the perfect weather right now. Like a cool breeze with a 78 degrees. I love it. Really, really nice and relaxing. I don't feel sweaty. Oh, I feel loose. I got a breeze. This is good. Wow, though, it already seems definitely not as crowded. But, I mean, all these people that normally are hanging out here could be actually just waiting to get on rides. I think we'll take a stop into Mickey's of Hollywood to see what they got going on in there. And one thing that immediately popped out to me are these little fans. How cool is that? And one that was really awesome, I feel like, is this Dr. Facilier one. Because, oh, I can't do the thwarp too well, it says shade. That's awesome. These are only $10. I think I'm going to get this. I wonder how it works. Oh wow. This really could come in handy here. I like it. Wait a second, I'm working on this here guys. Did you hear that? Oh boy. <laughs> Another really nifty thing are these new hats. I like these. These are uh, Magic Kingdom like tickets or passports that they used back in the day. And then even that classic Walt Disney Pictures hat. These are really nifty. I like things like this. I had to buy it, guys. It was only $7 with my 30% annual pass discount. That's very fancy, isn't it? Now it opens up all the way. Look at that. Now I think I'm gonna head into Keystone Clothers. I'm really not good at it, but I'm gonna get better. They have some amazing Black Spire outposts, like spirit jerseys and regular t-shirts. These are awesome. I'm really stoked. I love these coasters. Oh, I like it a lot. They actually have a lot of new stuff, including a bunch of Mandalorian stuff for Mandalorian Mondays. But I don't know when the 30% off expires for the annual pass holder. So should I buy this stuff now? Like, but then there's something I wanted to buy here in general. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm like brain overload right now, actually. I would love to get one of these Bounty Spirit jerseys or even a Bounty Spirit jersey for Gracie because then she'd be like my little Bounty, you know, she follows you around like the child. That would be awesome. I think I'm just going to have to wait. Like I said, I think the pass holder just kind of lasts a little bit longer, but I actually want to go down Sunset Boulevard and possibly check out the other stores that they have down there. And then we can also possibly check out the wait times for Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster. It'd be nice if I could do one of them, even though I do want to wait for it to get a little bit more dark out. I feel like the Tower of Terror is best at night. We'll cut through the Sunset Club. Doesn't that sound really fancy? The Sunset Club. Ooh, I like it. They got the fancy stuff in the Sunset Club. Oh yeah. Like the Tommy Bahama shirts, $150. Or even just these other Walt Disney World polos. This one's a Star Wars one. Look at that. I like it. They even have the coolest hats on property. Oh, look at those. You know, I actually own a couple of these hats. And I'm hoping that they actually go to the character warehouse so I can get a lot more. Because they go, they go very easy for me, you know? Like this one lasts probably, I'd say like two weeks. So that's why I swap them out right now. It's Halloween. I have the Haunted Mansion one. But overall, these are my favorite. Oh yeah, I think we're definitely a little bit too early for the Tower of Terror. Looks like the line is going up into the Fantasmic like queue area there. And Rock and Roller Coaster is starting right here. It says 60 minutes for Tower of Terror, but I feel like that might be a little bit longer because the other day I waited in line and uh, I started like over there and it was 60 minutes. They're actually taking you all the way up there. Huh. Earlier I said that I wanted to compare the wait times and see if it's a little bit less crowded later on in the day. So we're going to come back and we're going to check on them and see if it goes down. It's still a little bit early. I've only been in the park for about 30 minutes. So probably around like 5 o'clock-ish maybe six o'clock ish so like an hour or two hours before the parks close i bet you that line will be cut in half 
they'll probably just letting people right into the random, like just right into the standby queue. So we'll see, we'll check on it. And if we're gonna be checking out wait times, we should definitely check out Mickey's Runaway Railway. Wait a second, right now it says 65 minutes. That don't look like no 65 minute wait actually. You never know though. Oh, yep, I see it, a little queued up over there. So we're gonna come back, like I said, give it about an hour and see what happens. What if I'm wrong about everything though, and when I come back to check out all these wait times later, they're still very long. I'd ultimately have come here just to find out that uh, my theory about coming later on in the day is wrong, but also I would have just wasted a whole entire day. <laughs> oh boy, it's a risk I'm willing to take. In the meantime, I think we're gonna take a trip down to Mama Melrose. They do have some really cool merchandise shops down there, but also maybe we can get into Mama Melrose using the virtual walk-up list. Huh, I guess never mind. they're all closed. It's a wonderful shop is closed and I knew that was closed, but I didn't know that the stage one company store was closed too. For some reason, I really thought it was open. And just in luck, they do actually have some walk-up availability. I'm excited. I like this place mainly because I like the Christmas lights inside of it. Thank you. Mama loves pasta. I don't know if that's the song or not. <laughs> See, look at the little Christmas lights. It is so pretty in here, guys. I love it in here. Oh, look, and we got a little table against the wall. I love it. Thank you. Look at this little one. Oh, it's good to get the mask off. I absolutely love it in here. It's such a cool atmosphere. Let's take a look at some of the food offerings. We got a charred strip steak, oven baked chicken parm. Do you guys think I should get the chicken parm? Yep. All in. We're going all in here. Waiting for our chicken parm to come out. They brought over some bread. Look at that. I wonder how it is. I'm excited. But the bread is good. I like it. It's like a little baguette. Maurice, the baguette. Oh wait, that's not Italian. Looks like the chicken parm came out. Take a look at this bad boy. Oh, I love it. And I got the fancy noodles with it too. I'm excited to dive in. I asked for a little bit more bread because they only gave me two of those little pieces. Maybe one or two because I gotta dip it in the sauce, you know? Gotta dip it in the sauce. Let's take a cut into this chicken parm. Oh wow, this is gonna be some good chicken. You guys know how much I love chicken. Oh boy. That is good. I mean, it's good, it's a chicken parm, I love it. Still think like some of the other chicken parm spots are a lot better, but it's still a decent chicken parm. I hold the parm though. Well, wait a second though, because this still does have the parm. I did put some Parmesan on there, but no mozzarella. I wanna show you another cool thing that I like to do. I like to make little chicken sliders. And this is gonna be fancy because I like the way that the bread is here. Oh yeah. We're gonna take this bread and we're gonna open it up a little bit. And then we're gonna stuff it full of chicken. Like I said, a little chicken parm sandwich. A little chicken parm sammy. But enough with our chicken parm. We got a jet, there's only like 45 minutes left of the park being open. I kind of lost time in there, so I had to run out real quick, because now it's like a little bit after six, so we don't have much time left in the parks. But like I said, the chicken parm is okay. It wasn't bad. Uh, like I said, I've had uh, probably a lot better chicken parms here. But overall, for the price, I guess it's not that bad, you know? And on a plus note though, my chicken parm sliders were very delicious. Oh yes. So let's go check to see what the lines are like now. First, we're gonna help Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I'm gonna put my fan up here. Oh look, it's kind of like I'm talking on my fan so I can grab my phone. It is 612, 612. Hey, how are ya? So now it is 615. We're gonna hop in line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and it says a posted 50 minute wait, but I mean, I don't know. I was planning on getting two rides done I think this actually might go through in like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So that means we'll have to get done at, uh, oh boy, 6.35. We can do this. Come on, people, let's do it. So if we do get in by 6.35, then there's a good chance we might be able to make it over to the Tower of Terror and maybe do rock and roller coasters. Two rides, 45 minutes, both posted over 50 minutes. Let's see if this is possible. 
this is looking promising guys in three minutes we went from there all the way down and then back up to here three minutes look at that 6 30 15 minutes to get up to this point and it's like i said it's still at a 50 minute post of wait that's unbelievable we're actually even going to be able to do this guys we're going to be able to do it we are going to have to book it guys as soon as we get out of here i'm running running the tower of terror <laughs> 6.35, right on time. Oh, well, yeah, we'll get through this in like a minute. Oh boy, oh yeah, definitely a minute. There's actually no queue in here. What? 6.35, we literally made it on the minute. If we're gonna make it to Hollywood Tower of Terror, we're gonna have to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out. There we are, number 24. <laughs> guys 644 oh, we better run no need to run we can walk with authority you know power walk we have 13 minutes plenty enough time to get there that walk yeah <laughs> she gets it well hello there hey how are you <laughs> oh that is so awesome guys look at this the Hollywood Tower of Terror is lit up looks so much less crowded we definitely skipped two huge lines i feel like wow this is good this is a good feeling so we got here at four o'clock lines were a little busy we did some shopping got some dinner and then with 45 minutes to spare we get out from dinner go ride mickey and minnie's runaway railway and now ride hollywood tower of terror in probably 10 to 20 minutes that's crazy right just two hours ago, the line was all the way up there, like up inside, phantasmic. Now, I mean, we're literally gonna walk right into the queue line, and who knows? Who knows? Baby, who knows? <laughs> it says 20 minutes. Okay, all right, I'm excited. Wow, guys, this is looking good. No way. <laughs> no way. Look at this. I gotta get my phone out. Hold on now. <sighs> Six. 651. We literally made it here with nine minutes to spare. And if I was just like probably five minutes earlier, we probably could have rode this and then still made it to rock and roller coaster. This is crazy. I'm still going. I haven't stopped yet. Oh, 
I thought maybe here, but no. Hi. Thank you. Oh, this is amazing, guys. Hello. Hey, thank you, Mr. Morrow. Yes. Six. Six. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Six fifty-five, guys. This is this is the stuff right here. Oh, that was great. You with Mary on the planet jump. minutes to spare so this is really awesome because we had a minute to spare and there's nobody waiting the cast member Kyle said that I can just hop back around that is awesome so we're gonna ride it twice 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 in like literally 10 minutes crazy just in time guys look at that thank you now we're gonna sit in the front row guys front row this time And just like that, 7-Eleven, guys. Crazy. In under an hour, we did Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and Tower of Terror twice. What was I saying? Well, friends, I think it's safe to say it's better to come in the afternoon, a little bit later, if you just want to get a couple rides out of the way. So much fun I had today. Came, checked out some cool merchandise, got myself a fan, ate at Mama Melrose, rode Mickey and Minnie's Runaway, and then Tower of Terror twice. Thank you to Kyle for giving me that extra minute, or extra magic. Like, he really did. Like, it was 6.59, and right around the corner, boom. That's awesome. So happy, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. I don't know if they kicked me out, but I don't mind sitting here just listening to music.